County community are now just empty eyesores. We're talking about three shop and save locations in Spanish Lake that closed in November. It's left people who live there in what the USDA calls a food desert. Our Jasmine Payot spoke to a woman who says she didn't buy her a home to live in a desert. Desert. While there's no tumbleweeds rolling through this lot, the letters stripped off this building show that there is something missing. I was devastated. It was one more business gone out of an urban neighborhood. Maya Costello lives directly across the street from the old Shop and Save in Spanish Lake. So it was such a convenience. Um, just All right, Shalom. Call her lawyer, how about Shim Yaw was shot by Shim Kakadash. The one said, Pastor Elder's great millstone. Um, and peace and salutations to you, sincere brothers out there, pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth to the sincere brothers. Uh, and, uh, and man, I'm just, just, uh, watching the news and going through things. And, uh, what they're doing here. Just like they're doing all over America in uh, Jake's community. You know, here it is. They call it a community, but these Edomites, you know, we know, of course, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. They control all the resources, they hold all the cards. You know, they had, had a whole, uh, that particular chain that they're talking about, that was a big chain in uh, Jake's neighborhood because. They were they had a little bit of quality in the in, in the St. Louis area. They had a little bit of quality, and uh, the price wasn't bad either. And uh, now that that particular chain is closed, now you gotta drive you know extra time and wait in an extra long line because of the scarcity of that particular uh, type of grocery store. And that just goes to the show, show once again. That were the Israelites, this, you know, it talks about Deuteronomy. Um, one of the curses was you're going to go onto your enemy for want of everything. And because um, you still got people talking about, but we don't know what the white man is Esau. Look, we know we're Israelites, you know, Native, black, Native American, Latino people, which you have Jake who still doesn't want to admit to that. But when you look at who controls the resources, you know, whose hand are they eating out of? Who has a control over that? Who controls the electricity, the gas, all these pipelines, all these power lines, you know, all these transportation industries and these different industries from, from every state? If you look at it, it's the same. It's Esau. Okay, who's A? Hey, you want to know who your enemy is, know who, uh, who your woman looks up to. Know who, uh, who who's running your, the women of your nation, and who's running the women of our nation? Esau, once again, and just like this woman said in the video, look, I, I don't want to live in the desert. You know, I want to be, I want to have that comfort, which you understand. But that's why that's why it's important for our people to to wake up and to know who we are once again. Because, uh, you know, there are, there are many nations on this earth. There are many religions, which people like to say we're religious. We're not religious. Okay, we're, we're dealing with spirituality. We're dealing with our spirits and our creators according to the words that he's given us. So, Jake is still trying to seek that comfort. And, you know, this woman bought a house just so she could be in an area with some kind of comfort. And now that that comfort has been stripped... You know, there's particular chain and more businesses too are to come, you know, and also don't forget that the, the, the uh, food stamp money that's going to run out shortly too. So we're going to see what happens, you know, when that starts to turn up. Here it is. We still have our people, just like we say in every video, the Israelites say they still trust in this place. And uh, it's crazy because, you know, all these Christians, well, when you look at, the different uh, journeys, you know, these different different uh, apostles and men of the Lord, they had to make these different pilgrimages and go to the places where the Israelites were. You know, they might have, they were already, you know, over in Judea in this area. They had to go to these places, Egypt, Scythia, Rome, Spain, Cappadocia, Armenia, you know, India. <laughs> 
went all the way to damn India to find our people, Assyria. You know, and then uh, also, uh, I believe these two also went to Carthage as well, and probably other places. So, it's, it's, it's insane that Jake doesn't understand that. You know, even if you look at everything how it is now, uh, you know, the, uh, the South USA, it was primarily so-called... Uh, Southern Kingdom, you know, we were enslaved, and then uh, Jake, once the, the South was done away with, Jake fled up to the North to get the jobs, to get the uh, resources and all that, only to find out that the, the heavy Jim Crow system had been set up there as well. So, and, uh, and that's the nature of our people. They want to get out of that frying pan. They want to get, which, you know, it's understandable, but what we're trying to tell them is, look, this place is going to be destroyed. The best thing you could do is make the most of it and uh, prophesy against it. And yeah, we're going to keep harping on the wickedness of it. We're going to keep, you know, talking about it. But we're going to keep going over it until it's fucking destroyed. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, because the scriptures talk about you got Edomites who they can't even rest until they do some wickedness. Hey, so what brothers try to do? So we trying to isolate what that wickedness is, and 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 and, and how we can uh, figure you know figure out what it is and how we can get around that shit. You know, we're trying to supplant the damn devil, which you know we know he's in his his power seat, so ultimately. He's going to fall through the will and spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. But shit, while we're here on this earth, we're trying to uh, uh, see through the bullshit. Um, and so we can, and, and, and we're also trying to build up spiritually too. Hey, and the Lord, Yahweh, and Yahweh Bashim Shai blessed us so that we can get in contact with brothers through the internet. We no longer have to travel you know, hundreds of miles to go to these different places. Some of these places, they went fucking thousands of miles. I mean, you know, and, and faced grim death prophesying under the name of Yahweh Shai, which that was the actual name that they were prophesying under. That and, um... Right, so yeah, these men face death. We don't face death. We this is this is but a, a light affliction, you know. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has been merciful, has given us a few things and given brothers certain things. And hey, we just got to continue to to build up through the faith. And uh, you know, you you got more brothers to come. But just like this said, this is a this is a hard reminder, man. 2019. Yeah, we only been here for three weeks, and Jake is getting a real wake-up call. I mean, shit, they've been getting a wake-up call for the last, you know, some odd years. <laughs> but um, 2019, they starting off with a bang, starting off with fucking uh, shutting the government down. They, they starting off with a, a bang. You still got Jake's getting shot down. It's just not being reported in the media. Hey. This, this shit is really going to happen. It's really going to go down. And this is just goes to show you, you know, how easy they can cut that switch off. Because uh, a lot of times, what I've noticed, you go in these stores, once again, it's a lot of Israelite. Well, here in St. Louis, you got a lot of Judites. So you got a lot of Judite, or, you know, I'm going to say black women. St. Louis, you got a lot of black women. And, uh, you know, that just... They got the feet up, lapping in luxury, and everything is lovely. Hey, this <laughs> this ain't a joke. But uh, moving on. Matter of fact, what did I want? Oh yeah, Ezekiel 38 and 7. Be thou prepared, and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. 
after many days thou shalt be visited in the latter years thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel which have been always waste but it is brought forth out of the nations and they shall dwell safely all of them and Israel is wasted you know the mountains of Israel is talking about you know the uh, the, the Israelites the, the government of Israel the, the, the men of the Lord, the house of David. Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land, thou and all thy bands, and many people with thee. Thus saith the Most High, it shall come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. There you go. And this is the land of unwalled villages. This is that place where you can just drive and drive. And, and you know, you have gated communities here and there, but it's not like the ancient world where, you know, you go into a city, you have to go behind a wall and all that stuff. This is a, this is a whole nother beast. <laughs> A matter of fact, this is the beast to take the spoil to and to take a prey to turn thine hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited, and upon the people that are gathered out of the, out of, of the nations which have gotten cattle and goods that dwell in the midst of the land. There you go. And this is prophecy. This is all prophecy, man. That's what this, this is all the Bible is is a book of prophecy. Trying to trying to wake up Israel. This is all when the disciples were traveling. This is all they were doing, reading prophecy, telling Jake what was going on, trying to get our people to wake up. But in the ancient world, they were they were a lot closer to this. You know, it's been it's been a couple uh, couple uh, couple thousand couple hundred years. I say it like that, because you had uh, the Holy Roman Empire and some other things. So it's been it's been a couple hundred years. And, you know, now this word is going out all over the world. And uh, this is this is another thing this wicked ass city is doing. They're trying to because uh, what they did was say, say the city of St. Louis opted to uh, separate the city and the county. I may have said this before, but, you know, it is what it is. They, the city and the county actually are split. The two separate entities, two separate you know, tax brackets, all of this shit. Um, Jake started to move in, you know, in the 1940s and all around this period. They started to come from the south. Uh, uh, you know, we started to migrate up to uh, Chicago and New York and all these different Detroit, all these different other places. Um, and so they kept, they opted to keep everything separate. You know, once we got up here, Esau, you know, did the white flight shit, just like in Detroit. They do the white flight, they'll flee away. And then over time and over time, Jake will go where the where the money's at. Jake will go out there with Esau and build up and build up and then wax stronger. So now Esau has to come with a new angle, a, a new game. So now they're going to try to put the county and the city back together. But it's too late. Shit, it's too late in the game. They're talking about 2020. It's too fucking late in the game. These Edomites have had all this time to get the empire right. All this time. Look at this. They, and they know it. Look, St. Louis has been a house divided ever since. They're a house divided. They're fucking destroyed. There's nothing you could do. They could, they, they could do all this shit. You know, because what they're going to do if they did do this, they're going to put it all back together. They're going to bring more money from both entities into Esau's community. And then um, they're going to make sure Jake's community gets left out. And that's the game. And then they, you know, just like the apostle put the video, Elf City. They're trying to build that Elf City up. They're trying to build up that place where Jake can't go. You got certain parts of the city where the metro link doesn't go. You know, you might be able to take a bus to get there, maybe one or two. But shit, you know, it's going to take you some hours to get there and and they just said look we're not even gonna build a metro link here because we don't want 
these uh, undesirables in our community, unless it's Issachar coming out here to, to cut the grass, <laughs> basically. So, and, and uh, so, hey, this, this shit is crazy. Hey, we just, we're just sitting back, man, praying, building up through, through the spirit. And when I say building up, I mean on a daily, meditating, going through the scriptures, which, you know, I got to do a better job of doing both of those things, but meditating, going through the scriptures, uh, trying to be more diligent, trying to work harder, seeking after the, the lessons that our elders and apostles are building up and uh, listening to that exhortation and uh, all the other things, having that fear of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, uh, you know, making our spirit new, praying and fasting. So we're not, we're not, and I just, I just showed this just to showcase that, look, we're not, uh, uh, we're not looking for these Edomites to try to rebuild their society and incorporate and include us. And, you know, here you are, everything is fair now. We're not looking for that because it's never going to be fair. It's always going to be some bullshit. It's always going to be some, uh, uh, Fraudulent Edomites in power. It's gonna be all that shit. You know, it's it's just it it just is what it is. And at this point, you know, Jake is really a lot of our our people are really starting to see that. They're starting to see who the devil is, and uh, you know, the the use of the internet, this this web that's connecting us. You know, this uh, just like the Orem and the Thorum. This is uh, giving Jake. A lot more information, and you know, this is the information age. So, that being said, man, well, I got one more. It's First Peter 2 and 11. It says, Dear, Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. Exactly. You know, we're beseeched as pilgrims and strangers, and we do have to move a certain way we go out in the world. Having your conversation honest among the Gentiles. That whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may be they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify the most high in the day of visitation. And that's something important, too. You know, when our people are seeing us, uh, we want them to be able to glorify you. How about she now was shy? And uh, we want those good works. We want to have that. You know, my, our name is nothing. But uh, we still want to have that, that good name, that good reputation. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be king as supreme or unto governors or as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of the Most High that with well doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. There you go. And then and we go on the highways and byways. We're gonna do a lot of that. <laughs> so hey, we're gonna we're gonna submit ourselves. You know, brothers pay their taxes. Brothers do all of that stuff. Do the, do the right stuff under Esau's system. But then when he comes out with that chip, that RFID chip, hey, fuck no. We, we're not gonna submit ourselves under that. So and that's what that's what these men had to do when they went to these different places. They had to understand where they were just like uh i'm in my city i understand the rules i understand you know how they how they get down and stuff brothers in other cities you gotta know the same thing and uh shit if you can if you can utilize their system to uh to get some resources for you and uh you know through you bless the ministry the shit by all means do so <laughs> i'll put it like that if you can supplant the devil you can do all that then by any means. So, hey, with that being said, man, all praise to you. How was I was shy. It's been a long journey for us. We got a, we got a little ways to go, too. But let's keep the faith. Shalom.